Brought to you by The Vault. Hi, I'm Shy. And I'm Kathy. And this is our Girlfriends Talk Show where each week we have fun and we spill the tea. Or the wine. Be sure to find us wherever you listen to your podcast and follow us on social media. All right, and we're back on a Halloween week. Thanks for uh, coming back to our podcast. And I am recouped after last week's podcast. That was pretty serious. Hey, you overreacted in every single way. Okay, so I watched <laughs> it. And you're right, I did overreact a little bit. However, when you're put in situations like that, Kathy, <laughs> my anxiety just went crazy. My mind kind of left me, and I didn't know what I was doing. I handled it like a champ. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You looked good in our last one, and I was a hot mess. And oh. still, I cannot look at Sarah, because every time I look at Sarah, the girls that uh, joined us for our podcast last week, um, the one that I tasted her breast milk. I did too, though. When I look at her, she winks at me, and it's very awkward. <laughs> every time I see her somewhere, she winks at me. It's kind of weird. I, I see her every day, and it doesn't bother me at all. I couldn't do it. I, I'm glad I didn't see her you today. You know what? And, and that kind of leads into today's... Uh, subject, I guess. So is it really that bad to get older? I don't think so because I'm a little bit older than she is. And guess who the real G in this duo is? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. guess what? I work with the girl and I drink her breast milk. I see her every day. So you're a real G? It doesn't bother me at all. That's weird. <laughs> That's so weird. So on a Halloween week, um, getting older, are you ever too old to wear a Halloween costume? Well, I mean, we've proven over the past couple of years that the answer is no, because you and I have um, gone as some pretty epic duos. We have. We Last have. year, we were a trio because we had your girlfriend join us. Mm-hmm. So I was a hot dog. It was something I'd always wanted to be. I really had really wanted to be a hot she dog. She really, for like six years, <laughs> she was begging to be a hot dog. I'd never understood this situation. It was but I she was, learned to be a hot That dog. experience, y'all, and this is so bizarre, but it was the most freeing experience. I was like, I can do whatever I want to right now because I look so stupid. It just doesn't matter. Remember me telling you that? Mm-hmm. So and I danced, went, I drank beer. I she <laughs> sat out by the lake, contemplated life in her wiener <laughs> outfit. It was the weirdest thing. She was so happy I as a hot dog. So happy. So I made the happiest hot dog in the land. I made my costume, my girlfriend's costume last year. I was a box of French fries, yep. which was pretty awesome. I made it with pool noodles. <laughs> pretty cool. And uh, my girlfriend was a ketchup packet. We were a mixed stack pack. So we were the best deal in town that <laughs> night. Like, for real. But we've been a taco and a Mexican. Yeah. Um, we have been a, what else? So the taco and the Mexican was pretty awesome because that was during the uh, the presidential election mm-hmm. deal. So I built a wall around me. <laughs> <laughs> you did as um, the Mexican, and she was my taco. We've been I've been a, uh, a menu special, and you've been the restaurant owner. Mm-hmm. That was pretty <laughs> cool, especially when the uh, the workers at the restaurant did a double take and started acting right whenever I walked around. <laughs> That's when you know you did your costume right. And uh, then one year, this was irony at its best, um, she was... The devil. The devil. I was the angel. And I say irony at its best because that's what everybody said when in reality, (laughs) it was the truth. And still to this day, I get blamed for all the bad things she does because people (laughs) think that that she's the angel. Because I am. When I'm walking around in the white and she's the red. Whatever. You were the grouchiest angel ever. I was very grouchy that <laughs> night. I had read somewhere else, and I was wearing Stop all white, it. and it was Stop. horrible. This it was is a very girlfriend's horrible We're not going to talk about that anymore. Anyway, okay, so let's let's go back. Let's go back in time to when you were a child, okay? Um, so what were your favorite Halloween costume? Well, some memories? of the ones that I remember, and I don't know why this always goes back to my mom. I feel like I'm always bashing my mom. My mom was a pretty good mom. Again, free counseling. But right here on Girlfriend's Talk there Show. are some iffy pictures when I look back on my childhood uh, costume selection that my mom, you know, had. And it was it was kind of weird, like third grade, eight years old. I wore this black leotard with this black bodysuit that was long sleeve. And I had these uh, these little girl uh, heels and I guess they were black patent kind of heels. <laughs> And I had a sequins red bow around my neck. Okay. With um, very, very heavy eye makeup on <laughs> and red lipstick. Did she, were you, 
What, what, bunny or kitty? Is that what you would call that? Well, I mean, if you were a bunny, you were playing. Playboy. <laughs> Playboy bunny, exactly. Ding, 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 you won. When you were eight. So I'm thinking that that's what my mom made me when I was eight. I was eight. a Playboy banana when I was eight. I was really a banana, a Chiquita banana <laughs> with bunny ears. Of course. Of course you were. <laughs> so the next year, I've got pictures of this one too. I should have brought those pictures. So the next year, I had this little mini skirt. And when I say it was thigh high. When you high, say pictures, what do you mean pictures? Do you mean a real photo on paper? A real photo on paper. With in a date photo on album. It? Oh, in the photo in album. In a photo album okay. that you stuck it to and put the plastic on top. Talk about old. Yeah, that is now brown. The, the sticky stuff is brown, mm -hmm. and the pictures will fall out if you move it wrong. That's pretty bad. So I had a really short blue jean mini skirt some fishnet pantyhose, and high boots. <laughs> I was nine. Was Pretty Woman out yet? Because <laughs> I was Probably I'm so. Going, I'm 88? Going for, no, that was 90. Okay. Yeah. Then I had a, a blue jean vest on. I mean, and I had, once again, some major eye makeup on. What were you? A hooker? <laughs> What would you think? I don't know. I'm I'm guessing my mom was trying to go punk rock, but we kind of missed that. We went up a notch from <laughs> punk rock. So what were you when you were nine? I was um, a hooker and you were? Um, I was, I mean, when I was nine, I mean, probably you, an M&M or a piece of bubble gum. Uh, I was a lot of food products. I've been a lot of food products in my life. I was just, yeah, a lot of food. <laughs> so <laughs> if we dressed up this I've Halloween, been a taco. Yeah. what would you be? Um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, after last year, I, there's nothing I want to be. Now, we had talked about, like, Little Debbie. Yeah. And, like, you would be the Swiss, Swiss roll. I'd want to be an oatmeal cream pie. Mm. <laughs> I'd be the Swiss roll. So I thought you were going to be Little Debbie. Well, I would, but I kind of want to be food. Well, are you ever too old to, to dress up? I don't know. That's... Are you ever too old to trick or treat? So when do, you, when do you stop handing candy out to somebody? Like, how old... If a kid came up to your house and knocked on the door and they looked like they were, I don't know, they could shave, that would make, you give them candy? No, that makes me mad. I would tell them to go home. <laughs> Unless they're helping out some other little kid, Yeah, I might give them a piece of candy. But if they're just coming up there themselves, no. If you're in high school, you don't trick or treat. Uh -huh. What about you? You going to give them candy? Yeah. Kathy. So if a college student comes up there by themselves they need, they with a little candy. pumpkin. College kids need candy. I've been one before. Her son still is with her. She's 20, he's 23. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I don't know why I didn't, why I I didn't think about it. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I'd give you candy if I you mean, ask if me you for could, some. If you could legally give them beer because they're of age, Actually, you don't I would give, give them, them candy. Beer because I need to move some of my son's beer out of the refrigerator. Oh, my god. So gracious. if y'all want to come and get some beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how old are you when you're, or how are you too old to ever wear Halloween costumes? I personally don't think so. It depends no. on where you go, what you're doing, what the occasion is. You know, but, my favorite part about being a hot dog was driving the uh, the radio station van back to the radio station in the dark. She got a few honks. <laughs> I mean, you see this big weenie driving a van. That's pretty impressive. Well, I couldn't take it off. Wow. <laughs> All right. So when we come back, we're going to talk about, uh, well... Some things that can be scary, which is something that we are all doing, every one of us listening or watching, right now at this very moment. We are all doing this. We'll tell you what it is. Come on. Peeing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, you, watching or listening to this amazing podcast hosted by two of the most dynamic and brilliant women you'll ever meet. Advertise with us and watch your business grow as big as our heads. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, hit us up at vault.news slash contact and find out how affordable you can advertise on our show. All right, so we're back and we asked the question whenever we left last segment, what is something that everybody is doing at this very moment? Everybody in the whole world at this very moment. Well, the answer is not peeing, just like I said. No. And I, I mean, when you asked me that question earlier via I text, said, what does everybody have in common? Which could also work. What does everybody at this very moment have in common? And I answered nipples. That's <laughs> true to a certain extent. But everyone at this very moment is aging. We are all aging. It doesn't matter how old you are. You're getting are older right now. We are all 60 seconds older than when I just asked that question. <laughs> Every one of us. So with that Did said, you make the most out of that last 60 seconds? I hope you did. 
Probably I, not because you're listening to this podcast. Let me drink wine because I am. Actually, yeah, I that's why the, mm-hmm. the best way to spend your 60 seconds. All right. So if you don't drink wine while you listen or watch our podcast and you're doing it all wrong, first off. <laughs> So let's talk about... Be drunk and listen, please. <laughs> we sound better. <laughs> let's talk about aging. So when Kathy and I somewhat show prep a little bit before these little segments, and we were talking, and uh, she was like, so, aging, give me your ideas. Everything that I wrote was all the bad things about aging. Yeah. Because, I mean, there, there's a... There's a lot of bad about no, aging. There isn't. And then here, Miss Miss Goody Positive, <laughs> Miss Optimistic, yeah, is uh, she's like, no, there's a lot of good things, and there is. There are. However, I'm gonna let you go ahead and check off the boxes of the bad things. So. Okay, bad things. Your Ying. bladder, yin and yang. Your bladder gets worse when you age, My, and she says hers isn't. I don't have a bladder problem. The only time I do is if I drink too much and I'm jumping up and down. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not? You had two children. I don't know. I, I only had one out that way that actually mattered. Out so. that way. <laughs> well, a lot of women my age, which are younger than you, yeah. um, do experience some leaky bladders. You know, there's As a matter you can I, do about that. Well, I've heard. Um, <laughs> there's no more jumping on trampolines. There's no more jump rope. There's no more well, doing I don't think any you should of that. jump on a trampoline anyway after you're forty. Well, that's fun. It seemed like fun exercise. And I tried it, and that's no good for me. Mm. So on that same note, gravity takes over, right, as you get older. Yeah. Things start to hang. (laughs) Well, can we just say droop? They don't have to hang. Well, mine were hanging. (laughs) These two things were hanging. Which ones? And five years ago, I decided to go get these two things back where they needed to be. There you go. You have a problem? You found a solution. Yeah, but that was a very expensive solution. Mm-hmm. You saved money. But I did. So from that point on, even if I could jump on things, jump up and down or run, I'm not. You oh know why? Because I'm not going to drag them back down where they were. I've worked out with you before, and you're like, I can't do chest exercises because... No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not running this. This is perfection now, and I'm not touching it. Now everything else needs to be touched. <laughs> so with that said... There are other things that happen in a woman's body and a man's body. Men tend to lose hair when they turn mid thirties to forty. Mm-hmm. That's got to be think? a that's got to be a bad deal. When you think about that, if you were a man, what would be your biggest fear? So I ha- I have my husband is bald, and I've asked him multiple times. In fact, I just talked to somebody about this yesterday when I was getting my hair done. Mm-hmm. Um, I-, I said, if you could choose to have hair, would you? And he said, probably not. And I was like, really. I said, why not? And he goes, too much to worry about. It's way cheaper. Hmm. And I was like, okay. But I will tell you, he's very, very um, fastidious about how his head looks. You know, he doesn't want any nicks or cuts or bumps or whatever. I bet. So he has to get I mean, a haircut hair. in that sense I mean, his head. Would, would be if you cut it, then you've got a big scab <laughs> on your head. That's bad. Yeah, well. Or the sun. He I said mean, he didn't care. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That would be a huge nightmare for me if I was a dude losing hair. Mm. That's no good. Now, with women, we gain hair. We gain <laughs> a little bit of hair in areas that we're not supposed to get hair. Right, Kathy? Yeah, they have their problem solution. It's called the perfect finish. So <laughs> we found an amazing place here in our area and uh, mm-hmm. called Glow Med Spa. Mm-hmm. They have them all over, actually. And uh, we take care of situations like this. Yeah. Yep. Laser hair removal. But that all comes with getting older, having to go through all this mess. Botox. An amazing thing. Sorry. I love Botox. However, (laughs) it's pain. And from the moment my mom was brushing my hair when I was, I don't know, four years old, and I would cry, and she's like, it takes pain to be beautiful. It takes pain (laughs) to be beautiful. That's all I hear. And uh, she's right. So every time you get stuck in the face with needles, I tell myself (laughs) it takes pain to be beautiful. I just think needles feel better than looking at wrinkles. That's the, (laughs) you know, my girlfriend asked me, she was like, why do you keep doing this whenever you, all you do is holler and scream? And they're like, oh my God, they're probably tired of me coming in there. And they probably are. She's the worst Botox patient ever. However, the results are better than the pain. So it's okay. Problem, solution. Drinking. What about drinking as you get older? (laughs) 
<laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> if you watched last segment, our segment, yeah, it was last segment, um, you learned what happens now when Kathy drinks. She falls backwards. Oh, it's only when I drink too much. Not every time. <laughs> only twice. But drinking, when you get older, you can't consume. At, I mean, your liver is pretty much failing you at this point. It's not failing really. I feel like it is. You can't drink as much. You, it hurts Why? really bad your the next day. Your cells don't turn over as quickly. That's it's all. Not good. <laughs> you have to use moisturizer every day. It used to my face was so oily. I mean, oily. I would have to use stuff to take the oil off my face. Now I'm putting oil on my face. This mm -hmm. is ridiculous. And I'm getting adult acne again. What is that about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what anything is about that? I, of course you don't, because for some reason you're looking glowy and something's <laughs> going on with you right now. I don't understand it. I'm telling you, I think you visited glow without me. I didn't. I'm aging backwards. So give me some good stuff about this. Make me feel better. Okay. So because I am a few years older than you, like a decade, um, <laughs> you know, there are some really, really cool things about aging that don't have to do with appearance related stuff because those are the things you can problem solution out. Would you like some wine? Absolutely. Since your liver isn't I'm failing? I'm not going to fall backwards. <laughs> uh, God help me if I did. Actually, that would kind of be podcast gold. It would. Um, <clears throat> But a lot of the, the positives about getting older don't have to do with appearance. They have to do with um, what's on the inside. So I will tell you that things get a lot easier to, um, to problem solve when you get older. Everything is not such a... Um, a rat race? Such a big deal. Things slow down? No, it's not slowing down. I've slowed down. Well, you have slept down a lot. Well, it's because you were at like in uh, every aspect. Mach 5 <laughs> in every for aspect. a dog on long while. But anyway, um, no, I mean, it's the, it's almost like there's like a curtain. And whenever you get older, that curtain kind of like just opens up. And things are very clear and um, you're more confident in your decisions. Not that you always make the right ones, but you can see the pros and the cons very easily. Um, you have less of a give a shiz mm -hmm. about what people are going to say or think. That's true. Um, and it doesn't mean that you don't care, but you know, basically your standard becomes your personal standard and not what everybody else thinks or says about you. Hmm. Um, I think you, confidence is probably the, the most overriding um, great part about getting older. So, I see where you're going with this. So maybe our that's physical, what you're looking at. Our physical may go downhill. But no, it's not going downhill. Kathy, it is. Oh, no, Whether it's you not. want to admit it or not. Look, your mom your mom looks younger than she did 10 years ago. Because half my mom is four years old. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> so I really hope she doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> anyway, so this may go. But as long as you have your mind and your confidence and your ability to make great decisions you still have your attractiveness or at least decent decisions you don't have to make great decisions no i've got to uh i've trained myself now to make great decisions oh i'm proud of you <laughs> all Fist right bump so, that out yeah 40 so let's get to your urban dictionary <laughs> word kathy so I it's actually look forward to yeah, this not a not a word i feel like you're making me hipper every time you come up with a well i'm not because you just said hipper that's oh that's not cool not at all um, anyway, so I found on the Urban Dictionary, it's not a word. Basically, it's kind of a couple of phrases. So, old is when going topless pulls all the wrinkles out of your face. You talked about gravity, right? Yeah. So, if you go topless, all the wrinkles are pulled out of your face. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I've got visuals. Old is when you don't care where your husband goes just as long as you don't have to go along with him. That's your motto. Yes. <laughs> Does he listen to our podcast? Nope. <laughs> how do you get him not to listen to our podcast? You know, there are some you incriminating know exactly things. How I, I don't show him where it is. There are some incriminating I mean, that, honestly, things. Honestly, that's the secret to my marriage. I just don't show him where it is. <laughs> All right, let's do a country <laughs> word. Okay. All right, let's see if I can use this in a sentence. Now, as country as I am, my girlfriend is more country than I. Which shocks me every now and then because sometimes she makes me She's feel your a little fiance. Fiance it sounds <laughs> weird. It it's very uh, it shocks me that because I sometimes feel city around her. 
So the other day, <laughs> I do. Like, it's so... Oh, sorry. That made me snort. <laughs> <laughs> I do. And I'm the countryest person you'll ever meet. So we're in the truck, and I cannot remember how she used this, but I'm going to use it in a sentence of my own. She's like, well, we're down to near nothing. Isn't it near nothing? Near nothing. <laughs> You're right. Does that mean... They are nothing. Does that mean you don't have any? Well, uh, that means you don't have... It. Like, if if I said... How much money do you have in the bank? Ah, uh, near nothing. How much toilet paper do you have? <laughs> we ain't got near nothing. <laughs> what? And the, I looked at her like, what did you just say? Got my little notepad out, wrote it down. That's what we're talking about on the podcast. Do, you, do you understand nothing. that you, you carry an iPhone around with you and you don't need a notepad? No, I like my little red <laughs> notepad. You can just put it in your notes on your phone. You see my notes right here? If you're watching us on YouTube, you can see all of this. Our nice little setup here. This is my notes. <laughs> this is Kathy's notes. Can I, can I tell a story really quickly, though, talking about getting old? Because actually, this is a real life thing. So I changed my iPhone password, mm -hmm. my passcode, yeah. which I'd had the same one forever. And I changed it about three weeks ago <laughs> and have my like fingerprint set up too. Well, I will somehow it stopped recognizing my fingerprint. So you had to put in the passcode. Sunday, uh huh. I couldn't remember my passcode. I locked myself completely out of my iPhone on the way to a, a work thing, a oh, work no. like conference and you had just said it yeah and I mean, you could, I could remember it. Mm -mm. I locked myself completely out had to go ahead and dump my iPhone to recover it yeah in the car all the way to Houston wow that's an old person thing to do and that's all I kept thinking was yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. so I and reset see, it if, back to my old one and what she tells me you should put all your passwords in your phone I did well, in that case <laughs> It doesn't matter. So our producer, in my case, taking CD, out my little handy dandy yeah. notebook would have been great. Actually, it would have been smarter. Our producer CD was like, "You don't know your Apple ID uh, password," and I was like, "It's in my phone. Mm -hmm. It's in my notes." <laughs> I am so glad this happened because my point has been proven. Pin drop. <laughs> that concludes episode seven. Be sure to find us on YouTube. Oh we have God. a YouTube channel if you're not watching us already on there. Yeah, find, find us, us on, on social media, on Facebook for sure. It's Girlfriend's Talk Show with Shine and Kathy. And our girlfriend tip of the day is Botox. Botox for it sure. It works every time. We said we would never do it, but when we did it, oh my God. Honestly, we're addicted. I might get a divorce, but I'll still get Botox. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>